Hello there, this is Jackie Herbert, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Now we're inside Clanker now, and I'm just going to hit this bitch switch right now since I'm here. What's this going to do? Oh, it's going to bulge your eyes out. Oh dear. I need to get through these without getting hit by these blades. This, oh god, uh, this is quite risky. I don't like being cut up. I don't think anyone really likes being cut up, and if they do, it's a little strange. Just saying. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh. Jesus. Ah, there we go. Brilliant. And then I get a chicken. Yeah! Woo! Okay, so now I can go through this tunnel here. Foil down here and fly over. So you can actually go through these. Oh god, get rid of that. The tentacle or whatever the hell it is. You can just fly over to this, this thing, which is. There's a gold feather. I wonder if that's foreshadowing anything at all. I have no idea. Let's enter the door. And how the hell am I supposed to get through all of that? I don't think I can run through that. Fortunately, there is a molehill just here. This should help us just a bit. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Does it make me vulnerable? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this move requires gold feathers, and you can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. Thank you very much. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. Okay, so now if I just turn on this, I can just run through it without a care in the world. Yeah! Okay, grab the jiggy this time. There we go. Wow, two songs playing at once. That's not good. <laughs> well, see, so yeah, that's actually pretty simple to get through when you have the invulnerability feathers. So now I can head down into this room and activate all these rings. Oh god. I think it's... Ah, oh, there's the first ring. Now these are done on the timer, so you do need to be relatively quick. But it's not, not too difficult to go through this one. Swim through the inside stomach acid, I guess. That's actually pretty... Ew. When you think about it. Like, this this poor creature is... is uh, it's Grunty's garbage grinder, so like, oh, what if it's a living thing? That's just horrible. Why would you get something like that to do that for you? Can't you just use a bin or something? Surely that would make a lot more sense. Either way, either way, you just stream through this last one, and that will raise the level of the water. I'm not entirely sure why it does that, but hmm, and it also gets us a jiggy. Okay, grab this jiggy, and then I think all we have left is the Jinjo, and then some notes. So, doing quite well, doing quite well. Oh, here's some notes. Maybe the Jinjo will be down here too. I can't remember whether it's this side or the other side. Uh, okay, it's the other side. I need to be careful not to swim out of the door. Don't swim out the door. Okay, there we go. Swim through the, wow, well, the... <laughs> The model effects with the washing machine are pretty awkward. Okay, so that okay, that's all the notes in that area. I guess the, gin, the ginger must be on the other side then. Up here. With the honey guy. He swallowed a honey guy. Do I need any honey? Let me check. Collect one and... Nope. Oh, well. However, down here... I believe this is the last ginger we need? I, I think so. If so, that's also the last... Oh, oh, oh no! No, I need an orange ginger too. Oh, I know exactly where that is. Okay, let's swim out this way. I believe I've actually forgotten some notes now that I think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and enter through his tooth to pick them up. Yes, there's notes down here, so let's grab these around the, the base of the mouth, I suppose this is. God, I, I, it looks... Just thinking about it, if he's a, 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 a biological being and he's got all this thing, like this junk there, that's oh, it just makes me shudder thinking about it. Even nowadays, it is pretty disturbing. Either way, I just need to go back through one of those holes and not get hit by tentacles, because tentacles tend to not be friendly. At least not any I've encountered. They tend to do damage, and damage is not good if you are wanting to remain alive. Ok, 
Okay, so that last Jinjo, I believe, not this way, the other way around, the, sh the whale. But I think he's supposed to be a whale. I always thought he used to be a shark, but no, it, it's it's a whale, I, I think. So if I just simply go up onto here, oh god, I need to wait for the wait for his fin to go above ground so I can jump over to it and watch out for the chomper. There you go. I believe if you jump up, is there something this way? There is something this way. There is notes. Excuse me. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Now, if I head the other way, there is also another one of those poles to grab onto. And up this way, there are... Is there more notes up here? I think there's more notes up here. Maybe not. Never mind then. There's notes down there though. However, down here, we have the Jinjo. Yeah! That's all, all ten. That's all ten jiggies. And now I can go down and collect these notes as well. Actually, can I, I think, oh yeah, these are the last of the notes. Which means all we got left is the honeycomb piece. Yep, all we have is the honeycomb piece. And now, all we have is nothing. We are done with this level, so I'm going to make my way to the exit. So that was done quite quickly, actually. I'm quite surprised. It didn't take me very long to do that. Swim with the washing machine. Wow, it looks like he's, looks like he's farting with those bubbles coming out of, the, of, of his, like, trousers. <laughs> Weird. Oh well. So I think I'm gonna change back into regular Banjo and Kazooie after I leave this level. Because I mean, I think it's quite fun to play as it for one level, but I think it would just get really annoying to continue playing as the washing machine, especially because like the animation errors like that. Which you know, it's <laughs> it's, it's a cheat. So I mean, I say it's a cheat. It, you still have to unlock it, so it's not exactly a oh dear camera messing up. It's not exactly a cheat in terms of, like, it helps you progress or anything. If anything, it's hinder a hindrance. Whoa! Your best note score for this world is now 100. 100 is, well, it's perfect, so I can't really do any better than that. Now, the way to... Oh, God. Chompers. There you go. I don't want to talk to you yet. I'll explain that later. Much later. I want to hit this and open the the grate and get, that's where I open the next level. So I'm going to go down there and open the next level. Not get hit by the exploding mine thingy that was there. So this is a swampy area, so maybe the next level is a swamp. I mean, that would kind of make sense. It's a very swamp-like area. Saxophone with the music, I guess. And so there we have Bubble Gloop Swamp. And just fill in. That's the wrong button. Is it? Which button is it? I don't remember what button I'm trying to press. Uh, never mind then. I'll just press A then. Oh, now it tells me. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. That's what I was trying to do, and it wasn't working because he hadn't told me yet. Anyway, Bubble Group Swamp is now open, which is over there. Bubble Group Swamp. It's an interesting level, I'll give it that. One of the my less favourite jiggies are found in there. You'll see why when I get there. For now, I'm going to go to the Treasure Trove Cove and I'm going to turn back into Banjo Kazooie, so I'll see you there. And now we're here to. I. Uh, the crab's back again. Kill it. Don't want to have to deal with you while typing in this code. So, to turn back into Banjo, like Bottle said, you just type in no bonus. Where's the. Where's the end? Oh, there's the end. And then an U, and then an S. I almost called it an U. I don't in entirely sure why. Either way, that's, that's back into Banjo Kazooie, so. Yes, I will uh, see you at the exit of the level. Okay, so before we head to Bubble Group Swamp, there is something I do need to take care of, which is of course getting the the jiggy from the witch switch last uh, in from the last level, which I believe was it the eyes, the eyes in the lobby popped out. So I guess I should probably stick them back into the ground. And maybe maybe they'll give me a jiggy. Who knows? I do. I do. I've played this game before. 
just down here and simply enough just pound it into the ground pound the other one into the ground and then hey look jiggy which is that's four jiggies from the from the overworld which is you know making some good progress that's for sure so now if i head towards where bubble bloop swamp is like I mentioned before, you can actually, technically, you can skip Clank's Cavern if you, like, do well enough in the other two levels. Because this note door up here only requires 180. So, I've got 300 now, so I'm way ahead. Woohoo! And then when you get in here, you're greeted by a statue of Witch herself. Which, you know, a bit, uh, a bit egotistical, I suppose. Oh well. So, and there's a Jiggy inside there, which we can't get yet. Damn it. I will be getting that later, though. So, up here, we'll, we'll reach the area which leads us to Bubble Group Swamp. Just down here. Some... Oh, God. Ah! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh bollocks. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. And yes, in here, there's a little item here which we want to be able to use. But we can't. Oh, keep the feet out. You can't use this until you've spoken to balls. I don't know what I'm doing with these voices. My belly's big. It's rather neat. It's years since I have seen my feet. Well, that's something. Anyway, so entering into Bubble Clip Swamp, the way I find find this is the most efficient way of doing this is you enter the level. Oh, keep your eyes out open for new move, big, uh, big face. So, so I find the best way to do it is just to go over here, collect your move from bottles. These are the wading boots, chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay chicken, uh, Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Great, now you know all the swamp's new moves. Brilliant. Uh, and then this might seem a little bit odd, but after you have that, you leave the level. Probably a little bit confused right now. There is a reason for this, which you will... Oh god, <laughs> almost fell off there. Sure, which oh, I'll get to later. It's basically, you need to do something before you finish the level, if otherwise you have to go back into the level again. So what I do is I grab these boots, you can go through the swamp, swampy area just over here. Like if, if you go into this area without these boots, you take damage. So you don't want to be doing that. That's not a not a good idea at all. So just going through here, you should be. It gives you enough time. You should be able to get through just fine. Uh, and in here actually is where you need to go for the um for the for the next level, the freeze easy peak, which is just up here, which is a snow level. There's always a snow level. So I just might, might as well fill this while I'm here, so there you go. See, I've got loads of jiggies left, so I'm really doing good, good in terms of that. Freeze Easy Peak. A little bit confusing to say. It's not Freezy Peak, it's Freeze Easy Peak. Now the reason you want to come here first is so you can go up here, and you can break this ice rock here. Smash it, and hey look, a tunnel which I can't fit down. So you need to come back here, uh, like using the transformation from the level, which we're about to do. Which is why I t tend to do this first. That way, it just saves me a bit of time. There's something down there, which it's technically not required, but it makes it like it just makes it a lot easier. And uh, it's the, the boss. The last boss is incredibly difficult without doing this particular thing. Uh, I'll just say that right now. So you get enough time to get back, and then I can enter the level, and I'll end the episode here, and I'll see you in the in Bubble Hoops Swamp. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.